The 2025 AHA Hypertension Guideline, adapted from the 2025 AHA ACC IANP APA IABC ACCP ACPM IAGS AMA ASPC NMA PCNA SGIM Guideline, outlines the current best practices for the prevention, detection, evaluation, and management of high blood pressure, hypertension in adults. It provides definitions and classifications of blood pressure categories, along with recommended methods for accurate in-office and out-of-office blood pressure measurement. All right, let's try to summarize the big takeaways from this deep dive into the 2025 hypertension guidelines. What stands out most? Well, first, hypertension is often a silent threat. No symptoms doesn't mean no problem. That makes regular, accurate measurement absolutely essential. You can't feel it, so you have to measure it. Right. Second takeaway. Management is definitely multifaceted. It's not just about medication. Those lifestyle choices, diet, exercise, stress management, weight control, play a huge foundational role. They're powerful tools. Absolutely. Third point. Not all high blood pressure is the same. Recognizing nuances like white coat or masked hypertension or identifying potential secondary causes can drastically change the management approach and ensure you get the right personalized treatment. Good point. And finally. These 2025 guidelines strongly emphasize personalized care. That means using risk assessment tools, setting specific treatment goals based on comorbidities like diabetes or kidney disease, and using a team-based approach to ensure the most effective and safest outcomes for each individual. Excellent summary. The guideline also details essential laboratory tests and diagnostic procedures for individuals with hypertension. It discusses various causes, ranging from lifestyle factors to genetics, and offers guidance on distinguishing between white coat and masked hypertension. Additionally, it addresses secondary forms of hypertension and proposes lifestyle and psychosocial approaches for its management. Finally, the guideline covers medication selection and adherence strategies, and it sets specific blood pressure goals for different patient populations, including those with diabetes, obesity, heart failure, and chronic kidney disease. It also provides guidance on managing hypertension during pregnancy and surgical procedures, and addresses hypertensive emergencies and resistant hypertension. If you want to check in detail, don't forget to click on the full one-hour video. Hope to see you there soon.